Welcome everyone. Thank you all for being here. My name is um, Fajko Boerstra and I am managing the coding boot camps here in Amsterdam for Le Wagon. Nine weeks ago, 25 amazing people, they joined us for our coding journey here in Amsterdam. These people, they, have, they are creative people, they are entrepreneurs and, and they had a very intensive nine weeks with us to learn everything about coding. But before I tell you more about this coding journey, I would like to tell you a little bit more about Le Wagon. So, what do we do at Le Wagon? We are, for those of you who do not know, we are a coding school. And what we do is we bring the technical skills to creative people and entrepreneurs. And we do so so that they can find an interesting job in the tech industry or for the entrepreneurs amongst us so that they can code their own startup. And we do this by teaching them the hard skills. Hard skills such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and of course Ruby. And besides teaching them the hard skills in order to be able to code their products, we also teach them the soft skills, the mindset a developer needs in order to be able to work with other developers. And this is a key, cru this is a key crucial learning moment in our bootcamp. It's very important that we teach this to them. We, we are offering our boot camps here in Amsterdam, but of course we also offer it through in, in other places. So we are offering boot camps throughout Europe, and we're also currently offering boot camps in Asia and South America. I believe that today we have 20 coding schools throughout the world. So this coding journey that I was telling you about, we nine weeks ago, these 25 amazing people, they joined us for this coding journey. And Maybe for those of you who have no coding experience, it's difficult to understand how challenging it is and how intensive it is what these guys have pulled off. Um, I'm very proud of them and, um, because nine weeks ago they had no coding experience and now in only nine days they made a beautiful, beautiful final projects. And um, that's, that's a lot, that's, a, that's an amazing job and um, they have to create a team. They have to come up with an interesting idea. They have to design their product, they have to code it and all of this in nine days. Me personally, I'm very proud of them and um, I think therefore we should give them a, a big round of applause. So please, an applause for the... So these projects, there will be eight presentations tonight. They will showcase their actual product, which they only coded in nine days. And in order to do so, I would like to introduce our teacher who has who have guided these students during the project weeks. His name is Damien, and please, I would like to ask for an applause for him as well. Thanks, man. Hello guys, uh, I'm very excited to be there today because uh, I was uh, mentoring uh, all the team for the last two weeks because remember, the project that you will see today were done in only two weeks, okay? The boot camp is nine weeks, but the project were two weeks. So it's very intense, very proud of them. And uh, yeah, I, used, I used to travel a little bit uh, to teach at Le Wagon, etc. And I found it hard to actually find a room in Amsterdam, okay? And I think we have one one team here who is trying to solve this problem for you guys. So please welcome on stage the team Habitat. Well, uh, while uh, Joao gets everything set up, I just wanted to say thank you, uh, Damian, for uh, that introduction. Thank you, everyone else, for uh, coming over here to see what we've been up to for the last nine days. Uh, Joao, Eduardo, and myself, uh, we make Team Habitat. And we've been developing a web app uh, for young professionals and uh, room owners to find compatible roommates in Amsterdam using our matchmaking, personality matchmaking technology. So before uh, I go on any further, um, I'd like to ask the audience a question, especially my non-Dutch colleagues over here. How many of you found it difficult finding an apartment in Amsterdam? Well, I mean, you're not alone. Uh, Joao, a computer science graduate, Eduardo, a designer, myself, uh, a graduate in innovation, we, we had the same problems. 
Uh, in fact, when I say had, it's not entirely true. Joao, believe it or not, still has these problems. He's been going from hostel to hostel to hostel, trying to find a room. And to his credit, he did find a room temporarily, but he got kicked out and now he's back in a hostel tonight, guys. <laughs> Anyway, um, what I wanted to do today for everybody over here is uh, to show what Habitat can do for Joao and people like him in Amsterdam. And uh, without further to do, uh, Joao it has already signed in and registered onto our platform. Um, but both the owners and the renters have to, have to, have to take a personality test in order to find compatible matches. So uh, for time's sake, we can't do the owners, uh, and we've already done theirs previously, but Joao can do his own. So Joao, can you show it? So Joao has been presented all these multiple questions. There will be questions such as, uh, what does your average weekend look like? What kind of animal do you like? What kind of music do you like? Once he's done the personality test, these answers are safe to his profile. Um, from here, Joao can now see all the available listings that uh, match his profile. Uh, Joao, let's hope you get lucky today. Uh, <laughs> just choose whichever one you like and let's just uh, take a look. I mean, personally, I think this is too good for him, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I think it, it's good from your standpoint, so let's request the booking. Joao, of course, can see, uh, has put in his dates uh, that he would like to stay and let's uh, confirm your booking now, man. So uh, once this booking has been sent, a notification is sent to the owner saying that a payment is uh, standing by. It is up to the owner right now to view this message and also to take the, the payment and uh, make it uh, change the status of the payment. Uh, once this has been done, as you can see, a purchase button is now there for Joao to activate the purchase. Uh, he will now entertain, uh, add his uh, standard card details, 4242, and uh, expiry, etc. And uh, hopefully Joao has a place to stay tonight. And yes, so once the sign button comes, both the owner and Joao are able to sign this contract uh, digitally amongst themselves. Uh, of course, uh, we would like uh, to do some additional things to have our project up and running, and that is to actually validate from the owner's side whether we're pr providing any kind of additional value. Um, in addition to this, uh, of course, we'd like to improve our front end, but also validate the functionality of our personality test. Uh, once everything has been validated, we can say that we can get our project properly launched. And uh, I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, you know, just another Airbnb copy. But you know what? We think that we're actually making a difference because all of us had this problem in Amsterdam. We believe that we make living fun, happy, and above all, compatible. Uh, I would just uh, personally now like to just end uh, by saying a, a big hearty thank you to everyone who's of course made it over here, but specifically to La Wagon and all of our mentors for taking us from absolutely zero. I can tell you I did not know what a puts was uh, to, uh, <laughs> to taking us to another level. Uh, and it's been fabulous. Thank you everybody. Thanks a lot, guys. Great job. I mean, you see that it's a great website, great design, very impressive in two weeks to actually make the back end and the front end because nothing was there, okay? Remember that. And you know, um, when you're in a city and, and you have an apartment, finally, I hope so, <laughs> sometime, so you need to connect with people, okay? You want to connect with the people in the city. And the next group is about connecting people, but connecting especially the parents, okay? Because, you know, all the parents kind of have the same activity with the kids, and it can be nice to join other parents to do something together, okay? So welcome on stage, please, Parents Connect. Thanks. Hi, my name is Carolyn, and these are my teammates, Timon and Oliver. Give it a little wave, brilliant. <laughs> Together, we created Parents Connect. Uh, it's an app that connects parents with other parents, uh, as well as be able to see what events are going on in their neighborhood. So uh, while Timon logs us in, I'll just give a little bit of a background behind the motivations for creating this product. Uh, as some of you may know, I have a 16-month-old daughter, and I moved uh, here to Amsterdam from London last August. Um, 
Amsterdam, like London, it's very international, um, and often that translates to uh, many young parents living away from their families. Um, what I found in these cases is it's so crucial to have that support network of friends. While I was in London, I was lucky enough at the time to be able to take a birth class um, where I was able to meet lots of lovely uh, parents that were also expecting children at the same time as me, um, and they kind of became my support network. Um, so. What we're keen to do is just making connecting with other parents a lot easier, so hence Parents Connect. So, um, right, let's meet some parents in our neighborhood. So if I go to my profiles page, I'm presented with a list of parents that are within a five kilometer radius from myself. Um, I get to see um, the number of children they have, their ages, a little bit about the parents' interest. Um, and often you presume that um, I'm most likely keen to meet parents that also have children the same age as myself. Uh, so I look here, I see that um, Oliver, he's got two children, a uh, boy and a girl, 16 months, so similar age as my daughter, um, so I'd be keen to connect with him, so I'd like to learn a little bit more about Oliver. Uh, in addition to having two children, I see that Oliver likes cooking, yoga, and reading. I'm also quite keen for yoga, and I love a good book. So um, I'll go ahead and initiate a chat with him um, and see whether he'd be keen to um, connect and perhaps have a little play date at our local playground. Excellent. Um, another great way for parents to connect is uh, via local events. Uh, so prior to development, uh, we ended up doing some user research, and the unanimous feedback that we, we got was that parents would really be keen to meet others um, at local events. So if we go to our events page, um, here you're presented with a list of um, events that are going on in your neighborhood. So um, you get an idea for where it's going to be, a little description, who the host is. Um, so here we go. I'm um, visiting the zoo on the 19th of April. Uh, I'm also free on the 19th of April. That sounds like great fun. My daughter loves animals. Uh, so I'd like to go ahead and check out that event and attend. Brilliant. Um, so as you can imagine, life can get hectic with kids. You want to keep on top of your schedule. So um, if I go back to my profiles page, um, in addition to kind of managing my user preferences, uh, I'd also like to see what events that um, I'm hosting as well as event what events um, I've, uh, I intend to uh, attend. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh, and I see that Oliver has responded, and he'd also uh, be keen to uh, connect to the playground. So I'll go ahead and confirm. <laughs> cool. So we'll go ahead and log out. Excellent. So that pretty much concludes the presentation of our product, Parents Connect. We really had such a fun time creating it. Um, it's really great. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to come visit us afterwards during drinks. And otherwise, thank you very much. <laughs>
So today I'm, uh, I've heard about a new platform called Soplex and I've heard that they have a lot of new sports uh, to that uh, all of you guys can discover. And this is exactly what I love about sport, is that you, A, you can share it with your friend and you can always uh, enjoy like new experiences. So I'm on the platform, I, can, I see that they have uh, interesting sports like yoga or boot camp or running. Um, but I want to do some, something with the guys, so maybe I'll, I'll start something like boxing. Um, they have a boxing training, so boxing and coding, that's interesting. Maybe I want to look at the details for, <laughs> for that uh, boxing session. So I, I see that uh, the boxing trainer is actually a, a guy called Mark. Uh, he looks like a tough guy. I want to uh, experience a bit of his punch and uh, maybe have uh, an intensive training with, uh, with Max and, uh, and Thomas. So maybe uh, I want to register with, uh, with them at like, let's say 8 uh, p.m. tomorrow. So um, if I register, there's also a nice feature on the platform that you can register with your friend. So you can just book uh, training for with as many people as you want, as long as there are still spots available. So we just booked training for three people. So Max and Thomas will receive a, an email confirmation on their, um, on their email address. And now we can go on to uh, another feature of the website because I'm also interested in booking a, a yoga training with my girlfriend. And I've personally never done something like yoga or dancing. So I'll browse the, the website to see what, uh, the, what uh, a, a yoga training looks like. So Maybe on Sunday, it's a good idea to uh, see in Amsterdam what uh, yoga training there is. So I see yoga in Vanderpark or in Westerpark. This might be interesting to do yoga uh, on an outdoor activity. Um, so maybe I will look at uh, yoga in, uh, in Vanderpark. I like it's close to my neighborhood, so it's very convenient for, for us. So this is uh, Jennifer, so um, I think um, I don't know much about yoga myself, so I might want to check out her reviews to see if, uh, if people liked actually her training. And I can see that, yeah, it's five stars, four stars. It's actually, I think she's a nice trainer. Might want to book a training with her, with my girlfriend too. So maybe on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, that would be nice. I think she will be happy not to have a long, uh, s long night's sleep today on Sunday. So um, two, two spots for, for Sunday, 10 o'clock, that's nice. And then we are redirected to our um, booking uh, page, so all the trainings that I've actually booked for on my profile. And this is about the main user journey, guys. And uh, I truly believe that uh, sport can really enhance your life and that uh, we could all use a, a bit of uh, like uh, extra discoveries on, on new sports and especially sharing it with our friends. So I will let uh, Thomas wrap up the, the presentation and, uh, and what we did in those two intense weeks. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, thank you, Benjamin. Um, I think we did a great job. Uh, you can actually search for a training, you can uh, book a training, you can bring uh, other people, friends to your training, and um, I would love to, to use this platform. And um, to use the platform, we also need sporters. And actually, we want to launch uh, sport trainers. And actually, we want to launch the product. So if there are sportive people in the room and who would like to, uh, to, <laughs> to become a trainer, please come to us after the, after the presentation. We are happy to tell you more about it. And also, uh, if you want to know more about different features we built in the last week, um, yeah, we are happy to tell you more about it. Thank you, guys. Good, good show, guys. Good platform. I think I will be one of the first uh, users, as you can see. <laughs> and <laughs> so uh, you might like sport, and you might like sport on TV as well, I guess. And you know, one month ago, I was in Barcelona because uh, uh, for Le Wagon Barcelona, and I was looking at the football game uh, Paris Saint Germain versus Barça, and I was the only French in the bar. Like that was awful experience, you know. So it, it was very painful for me, and I think today uh, I'm very excited because this team actually have something for me, a solution for that, and I want to introduce fan-based, and let's talk about the platform they build. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Damien. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Oli, and uh, together with my teammates, Diego and Leo, over here, we're very proud to present to you Fanbase this afternoon. 
Um, so we're focusing on maybe the, the lazy part of sport, whereas Soplex are out and playing, we're sitting, on a, sitting watching a TV, but uh, that's just okay, it's okay. It's still played a very big part of my life, uh, especially socially. Um, however, when you find yourself in a new city, whether that be as a resident or as a traveller, uh, it's not always the most accessible thing because you don't have a, a social group to go, to go out with. Uh, so much so, after a couple of weeks of being in Amsterdam, um, I was sat in my hotel room, frantically trying to find a stream uh, to, uh, to watch my team play football. Um, and uh, after many dead links and buffering pages, I thought, I can't be, can't be doing this. I've got to, I'll go out to the city and hope to find a cool venue, a cool bar to go and, go and watch the game. After a, a limited uh, Google search, uh, I stumbled across a place. And uh, lo and behold, I was shoved into a corner with a view of about half a television screen and surrounded by about 10 guys all supporting the other team. So not only could I not really see what was going on, I've got 10 guys around me that if I jump up and shout, I mean, well, I don't want to think about what they might do. Um, so hence, fan base, fan base was born. Uh, so Diego is going to, uh, to log into his, his uh, pre-made account. Perfect. Um, and uh, we're going to go to our profile and, uh, and choose our teams. Uh, for me personally, uh, in the Premier League, I support Tottenham Hotspur. Um, so I'm going to select that for my, uh, my two Spanish friends over there. We're going to go for, for Real Madrid. Um, and uh, as all of us as, as new, uh, new to Amsterdam, we've all tried to adopt Ajax as our, as our second team um, to kind of represent. Yeah, exactly. And all the Dutch guys in the room. And um, we'll finish up there. So if we go back to my homepage, I see I've been uh, personalised. I've got my next games for each team. Um, however, I'm really interested about a game in a couple of weeks for Tottenham, um, which is uh, Tottenham versus Arsenal. It's going to be a huge game, and I want to make sure I find a cool venue, uh, hopefully with, with fans from my team. Um, so if I go down to my Tottenham versus Arsenal, um, and we're in luck. We've got four venues, four venues showing the game. Um, and we check out the first one. Okay, and we've got three Arsenal fans, and I definitely don't want to be sat with any of them. So uh, <laughs> if we go down, and, uh, yeah, and it's not directly in the center, so it doesn't really work for me uh, logistically either. Uh, so we go back, maybe we, can, uh, maybe we can find a slightly better match for me. Uh, Molly Malone's I've heard about, maybe quite good. Oh, 12 attendees for Tottenham, they're on with, surrounded by all my mates up there, it's gonna be fantastic. We'll have a few beers, we can talk about the team that I love. It's gonna be all good. So I'm gonna uh, join the Tottenham Hotspur versus Arsenal game and, uh, and uh, add me to the attendee list, perfect. Um, if I go back to my homepage now, I'm a, as I said, I'm a big sports fan, and so I'd like to just kind of see what's going on this weekend and hopefully be an Ajax game. I haven't got many weeks left in Amsterdam, uh, so hopefully I can find a cool pub to go and watch the game at. Uh, so I'm not going to pronounce the other team's name just so I don't offend any Dutch speakers in the room, but uh, we'll go with the old sailor. I've heard that's quite a good venue. Uh, and straight away, 10 attendees for Ajax. It's going uh, to be a good atmosphere and be surrounded by, uh, by Ajax fans, so I'll join that event as well. Perfect. Um, so, as you can see so far, we are, we're only using three leagues, but the, uh, the data that we've uh, managed to get hold of, we can access any uh, professional league with all the fixtures, uh, all the teams in that league and, and, their, and their rankings, which uh, was no mean feat, I can tell you, at the start of the week when we first had to do it. Um, I'd, uh, I'd like to thank everyone at Luagon, uh, especially FICO for all the help over the past nine weeks. It's been a great experience and all my classmates, and uh, especially to my two teammates that have made it all very possible. We've had a lot of laughs um, and uh, a lot of pains, but a lot of laughs along the way. Um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Very great platform, I think, uh, that's going to solve one of my problems. And I'm new to Amsterdam, but something I like in the city is like you guys have a sense of, of quality of life in Amsterdam in general. And after a game, you know, the street, the street can be a little bit messy and you want to keep it clean. And if you want to keep it clean, you need a system to report problems into the city, right? So I'm very excited because the next group did an amazing job by using a new technology that they will present to report problems to the city. Welcome on stage, Citizen. Thanks. Hello guys, good evening. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to present Citizen, the first uh, chatbot actually in the world to uh, help you uh, take care of, the city, of your city one message at a time. But first, I want to thank you, Lovagon team, for their teaching and their passions, actually for helping us to build this amazing product. And uh, my amazing teammates, Ellen, Anu and Matthias for helping out uh, to build this amazing project. So, back to the business. 
Uh, before changing my life, uh, learning how to code, I was, learning, I was living in Rio. Before that, I was uh, living in Shanghai, before that in Sydney and Paris. And the thing is, when you live in different cities, you kind of see more and more the same kind of problems happening. And something small, such as like reporting, for example, a tree that is breaking a wall on top, like next to a big avenue that might be very dangerous, can become such a, a big trouble. So that's what, what happened to me in Rio. And I tried to uh, talk to the guard, nothing happened, the cracks started, uh, only got bigger. Then I tried to call, and in the end, nothing happened. I sent an email, never heard back. So I felt really miserable, and the community never actually benefited from my good deed. Uh, and thinking about it, I was like, okay, there's three reasons why that happened. The thing is, the first one was I didn't know who to talk to. Uh, the second one, even if I talked to somebody uh, related to it, I wasn't sure they were going to pass the problem forward. And the last one was like basically, well, it sounded like a lot of work actually to do all this. So if it ever, ever uh, happened to you guys that you wanted to do something good and you were stopped in the way, well, that's why we create citizens. So now let's change the city together. Uh, and for example, we're going to do it. Like coming to A Lab right now, we saw like a broken water pipe and an old lady almost fell down. So we took a picture of it and we're going to report it together. So now we log on the, our Facebook Messenger and we like starting talking to the bot to report a problem. So first we're going to send the location. And the location was nearby like the ferry. So we can drag the, the pin and see, okay, the problem was there. We can also type the address. Then let's send the picture of the problem so that all the people can see, okay, what actually is happening. So we have our like broken water pipe here. Okay, that's it. So people can understand, yeah, you can really fall down here. Now let's add a title so it can be really easy and clear. Good. Then let's categorize it. It's an infrastructure problem for the city to know it. Good. Then let's add a little bit description, why this is important, why this is dangerous. Okay. So a broken water pipe is dangerous, people can fall. Well, yeah, the old lady, poor her. Okay, cool, and we're done. It took like 30 seconds and you did like, now we have the summary of the report to make sure like we're sending the right information and let's submit the report. We're okay with that, I'm happy with the report. That's perfect. So now the bot is going to confirm us and we are a rock star. We did a very good awesome deal in a few seconds. And uh, we have a, a link at the end where we actually can check out the report, what we did now, because the data is uploaded automatically to the map. So in our website, you can see here, the red dots are uh, the problems. So here's our problem we just updated right now. So you can see the title, the category, where, where it's happening. Uh, and in, in blue also, you see the ideas where you can report in the end. So the next steps were for us would be to work with the administration, for example, the municipality of Amsterdam, so we can uh, also actually uh, transfer them the data for, so they can map in real time what's happening in the city, uh, what kind of problem is happening, uh, and also now we are working with Messenger, but being a chatbot means you're like actually platform agnostic, which is we can go in other channels like Kick Messenger, tele Telegram, and uh, last Slack because chatbots now are like really a big revolution and I have to finish like three, reason, three reasons why we, cho we have chosen this platform. The first one is we chat all the time. Like the most used apps in our phones are like communication based. And it's our, the most natural uh, things with technology to chat and type. The second one is scale. Like with Messenger only, we can have access to one, for more than one billion people on the platform. And the third one, well, experience. It's really fun, it's really easy, uh, and you can customize and personalize it really easy. So thank you for your attention, and uh, help, help us make the city great. Thank you, good evening. We are very proud to have a chatbot inside uh, Le Wagon, and you see it's possible to do that in, in less than, uh, than two weeks, basically. A very, very impressive project. And Reporting a problem is about making your life easier, okay, or making, making improving things, basically. But there are other parts of your life where you can improve, what you can improve. And uh, 
one, one thing, one possibility to improve your life is to, is to actually gather and to send feedback to the brands you love. And it's interesting for a brand to create a questionnaire and ask a question to the audience or to their audience and their market to gather answer and enjoy and improve their product, okay? And right now, we have a great team who did an excellent job on that. Let's introduce Answer This on stage. Thanks. Thanks, Damien, for those kind words and nice introduction. Um, well, Mike is setting up our uh, account as a, a local uh, BMW dealer. Uh, you can see by the nice jacket that I'm wearing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about Answer This and how we, uh, uh, how we came up with this idea. Uh, I actually used to work in a, another company and uh, there they would actually send the interns on their way to take questionnaires at a university or stand around a, a central station somewhere trying to get the input that they were looking for. And I just thought it, it must be easier to, to do this. So that's why we came up with Answer This, which is a really playful and fast way to ask five questions to your target audience uh, real quick and get real quick feedback. So uh, as you can see, uh, Mike there uh, has uh, signed me up. And uh, we're signed up as Ben, as I said, the local BMW uh, dealer. And I created a questionnaire earlier, so let's have a look and uh, see uh, what kind of questions I came up with. I see that I have one questionnaire about uh, market research for BMW. Let's have a look. Well, there's a small description, and then uh, there are five questions uh, with all uh, four uh, answers. So everything is multiple choice to make it fast for the user and, uh, and easy to, uh, to click on your answer. And there are, uh, there are some prizes to win. Uh, because on the, the other side, so I'll move to the other side, because now I'm back to myself. Friso, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm actually uh, on my couch, and uh, I, I don't really have anything to do right now. And I heard about this cool app, Answer This, uh, where you can answer five questions ex every day, and uh, yeah, perhaps win prizes. So uh, I want to check it out. So I'm already signed in. Welcome back. That's nice to hear. Uh, and let's go straight into it and, uh, and play the game. So uh, f we start off by uh, picking a prize. Well, seeing the, the great weather, uh, I'm happy to have seen some of it uh, since, uh, since a while. Uh, I think I'll go for the sunglasses. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, they, the, it's a nice description. I think uh, they'll, uh, they'll look quite good on me, so let's, uh, let's have a go. Uh, this is a bit more information that Ben put in earlier about the market research, why they're conducting it, and the company that's doing it. Uh, seems fine to me. Let's, uh, let's start. So, uh, a car owner. Am I currently a car owner? Well, uh, since I'm still a student and I live in Amsterdam, and for some of the international people, we do everything by bike here. So, I don't own a, own a, a car currently, so uh, let's uh, type in no. Uh, and then, uh, my favorite color, if I would uh, buy a new car, uh, I think uh, I like... Uh, let's, do, let's go with black. Uh, what kind of type? Well, as I said, I'm, I'm still uh, learning to code. I, I don't have a really big salary yet. So uh, let's go for a simple three doors. <laughs> and uh, the price, well, uh, let's be modest and, uh, and keep it at uh, below 10,000. So uh, uh, do I expect to own a car in the near future? Well, I think uh, by 2018, perhaps, I'll be driving around in my black three doors car. Uh, so yeah, let's select that. And here we are. Are we done? Are you guys ready to spin the wheel of fortune? Yes. Let's do it. Ooh. Wow. We won. Great job, everybody. So let's see what we won. Oh, there's the, the sunglasses. What a surprise. So uh, I'll be cruising uh, in 2019, hopefully still with these, uh, these sunglasses on. Uh, let's redeem the, the price. Uh, it sends an, uh, an email on the, on the backend to, uh, to me as a user uh, and uh, I will receive uh, my personal voucher code that I can buy it uh, online, uh, the actual, receive the actual uh, price. So that was, uh, in short, our, our, our app, Answer This. Uh, yeah, after the presentations, we can probably be found near the bar. So if you have any, uh, any questions, don't hesitate uh, to ask us a little bit more about this app uh, and we're happy to answer any questions. And thanks, of course, Le Bourgon and my teammate, Mike. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic job, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now I have to get back to be very serious because we are going to talk about finance, okay? Not, I mean, a particular type of finance because if you actually care about your country, which I think you do, and you care about the public sector and how the government is spending money, okay, around Europe. And that's a very special project because they managed to actually have, to have great data and real data I'm very excited for about this project and let's introduce this team, the amazing team. Thank you guys. What's the finance on stage? Let's rock right the finance, please.
right. Good afternoon, everybody. Nice that you're all here. Um, we are uh, What the Finance, together with uh, Joseph Taylor here and Christian Bronnenberg. Really great team. So, can I get a hand for them? Without them, it wouldn't be possible. Thank you. So, we made What the Finance. It's a, it's a visual platform to make government spending statistics, usually not the most interesting thing you will come around, interesting and uh, intuitive again. Before I continue, I would like to ask you something. Who here cares about the country? Yeah, you do? Ah, great, that's not bad, that's not bad. And uh, who here um, thinks it's important to know how the government spends your taxes? I think it's pretty important. Great, I'm happy that we're all on the same page here. And I think especially in these times where politics seems to be increasingly uh, fact-free, it's really important to know how the government spends your money, so you can also hold them accountable. Um, and you know, the spending statistics and spending data is actually there. Lots of data is open, and governments are doing a pretty good job at that. However, going to statistics websites and sifting through these websites with impossible jargon, lots of drop-down news, and not really intuitive pages can be pretty harsh. So, we wanted to do something about this. So we made a visual platform that makes it fun and easy to find what you're for looking for again. Um, and we use real-world uh, data for that from the Eurostat agency. It's, they are, it's the statistics agency of the EU. So uh, let's just have a look. For the example, I will change nationality. I will be French in the spirit of Le Wagon. Um, so since the French elections are coming up next week, um, I'm really curious about how France actually spends their money. What, what's the most important thing they spend money on? So, let's have a look. So, it's a lot on social protection, but, yeah, social protection, what is it? Let's just go a bit deeper. Ah, so, it's mostly old age, pensions. Makes sense. We live in an aging population. That's pretty expensive. And also, uh, unemployment is a big thing in there, family and children. But this is just France. What I'm also curious about is how this compares to other countries, to other EU uh, countries. So let's go to social protection and see how it, France compares to other countries. And here you see the darker the color, the more the country spends. And also in this graph you can see that France spends a lot compared to other European countries. It's kind of comparable to the Scandinavian countries. But you know what? I'm pretty greedy. I want to compare multiple spending categories between multiple countries. And that's possible. <laughs> let's do it. Um, so let's start with social protection. What else do we want? Let's do health, education. Somebody wants something? Come on. Environment. Yes, environment protection, really important too. So we have France. I want to see the Netherlands. Let's do one more. Anybody? Greece, one more, one more. Latvia, okay. All right, let's compare them. There we go, pretty cool, right? So, yeah. So this is just a small example of a possible path that you can take through our website. There are lots of different possibilities to go through it and also explore easily, you have recommended graphs. And uh, this is not finished yet. We want to really take it to another level. We want to make it even more user-oriented so you can save the graphs you like, share them, download them, and also to strengthen the open character of our website, we want to add an API so other people can also uh, yeah, do fun stuff with the data because I think that's just really interesting. So um, if you want to know more or you're interested about our project, come meet us at the drinks. And uh, for now, I would like to say Go browse around and uh, share your discoveries. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great job. Amazing team. Like they, they get the data and they create all the graphs and everything. That was a lot of work. And you know, uh, I'm French, and I have to wrap up this demo day because you will see the last group right now. And it's about something very serious to me. It's about food and quality food. <laughs> so I'm very, uh, very pleased to uh, actually introduce the next team. Miam Miam on stage. Please, big applause, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, 
There are two things I love among everything else. It's food and traveling. And when I go to a specific trip, I want to make sure and tend to try the most specific dish and um, specific delicacies from that specific country. Um, I also love to speak with those persons, which are local producers. And these persons are unique characters because they make passionate products with love and they make it in a unique way. But um, what we found out with our team is that we, we found out that they are unique persons and they sell on the, their products on a specific shop and they can hardly sell elsewhere. Secondly, we, the food lovers, we can hardly find these products. I would even say we, can, we don't know about these products. We have never seen, seen them and we'd like to have them. So we, Adrienne, myself, uh, Guillaume and Alex, we have built in the matters of a few days only a marketplace that connects um, food lovers and local producers. This is called Miam Miam. And uh, Miam Miam easily handpick, is there to uh, first of all handpick the specific local producers on non expiring food. Secondly, help these local producers sell online and expand their business. And thirdly, us, you, easily find and discover new local delicatessens from every single, any given regions. So now imagine that I am a, um, a seller. I'm Jasper, and I do a specific caramels, really well known in Brittany, in Roscoff. And it's been 10 years I make them with passion and love from families to families. So um, I've been told by a friend of mine that I could eventually start selling online by creating an account on Miam Miam. So imagine I'm already logged in, and I want to create this specific product, which is my first product, my most sold product, and I want to put it online. So my product has been created and has been put online. On the other side, as Friso did, um, now um, I'm Friso, and I returned from these nice three weeks holidays um, in Roscoff in Brittany, and I brought one pot of caramel. Sadly, only one, because now I'm out of uh, caramel, and I wish I could have brought a few more, right? Um, there is no other options, but a friend of mine told me as well that there is a platform, a website, Isha, that says, hey, you can maybe find that specific product uh, that sell uh, on in Roscoff, but maybe look at this website, maybe it's there as well. So I go on this website, I've created an account, and I log in. I want to see what are the specific products being listed there. As you can see, it's mostly and essentially uh, local delicacies, the Strop Waffle, Dutch one, well famous here, and a few other products. I can, first of all, see per regions which uh, products are being sold, and or look at specific products. But I think that I've seen the product I did try and I did have back in the time, the caramel. So let's pick this one. I want to make sure it's the right product. Nice. Um, this picture looks very familiar. I want to scroll down and see about the seller, if that's the same shop. Actually, it's Jasper, right? Nice. Um, I see that there's been a few positive reviews. I don't want to make the mistake, so I'm going to buy it now. And not only one, but I think three. So then I can keep one for me and give away two for friends and families. I pull out my credit card, proceed the transaction online. And transaction has been completed in a matter of seconds. Nice. Um, now I want to look at my orders, make sure it's been, uh, it's been ordered. Excellent. Four days later, um, I'm in Amsterdam still, and I've received the pod, which is here, right? It's been delivered super quickly. <laughs> and I'm very happy because now it's back home and I can start enjoying it as well. I'm not going to try it now, but I'll put it at the table there if you want, guys. Um, I tried it and I put a five stars because it's been really quick in delivery. Thank you, Jasper, and on top of it, it's very delicious again. So five star, thank you for this, uh, for this very good and très délicieux uh, product. So this is Miam Miam, the platform that easily connects food lovers with local producers. I would like to uh, hand these uh, this presentations by thanks, giving big thanks to, uh, first of all, my team, Guillaume and Alex, who have done an amazing job as a junior developer manager and um, the team of Le Wagon, which consists of the teachers who have done a very fantastic job. On top of it, they have been very patient, I know it, and they, they know it as well. And uh, Le Wagon for, for making actually this, what I call impossible, actually possible. So thank you, everyone. 
Woo! Good show, guys. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. I think uh, he said everything I wanted to say. That's perfect, guys. Uh, I, we are very up to discussion. We will be in the bar. If you want to know more about Le Wagon, please go to Fake over there. I'm uh, standing there waiting for your question. Uh, up to answer everything. I'm very surprised about the project, very proud of them. And I hope the next batch will be like uh, as great uh, as this one. I had a great time. Thank you very much. And uh, enjoy the bar over there. And see you very soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs>